Well, spectacular, breathtaking. We thought it would be good, but wow, not that special. Does that make you want to get out there and compete again, Sharon and Colin? Absolutely fantastic. I think where they were very clever as well, they included the whole of the city. I mean, I've never seen fireworks going on on top of the skyscrapers and the river. So 80,000 people here and 80,000 people downtown as well. But that's what's so special about Australia. They incorporate everyone in, in their major events. They're a huge sporting nation. They love sport. I wish people at home really could have been in this stadium and really appreciated the audience here. They were clapping, they were cheering every single person who was actually coming in. And I thought that was very special. And I think that feeling is really very unique to Australia. And possibly for the Commonwealth Games as well, because they know that they've got to give this a special start. Yes, I mean, they're always very successful. We know that from statistics. But they always have more people volunteer than are needed. You know, it's 15,000 volunteers, I think. And, and you know, there's, there's, there's the queuing up to volunteer. And they're so helpful and so friendly. They love their sport. They understand it really, really well. Um, I always get emotional when the crowd get involved. And they were involved from the beginning to the end tonight. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got a bit of a red nose. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. But you were talking earlier, we've talked about the common language. And the... They just seem to be mixing so well, even before the games get underway. Yeah, you can see everybody's very comfortable amongst each other. And really, you can see they love swapping stories and swapping preparations. From the, the people we're going to look at to be the real winners, and the people who are here just to take part and be part of this completely unique experience. And I mean, I've got to really stress that. It is very unique, the Commonwealth Games. A different feel to Olympic Games and any other major championship. Mm. I've got to say, there's going to be some... Very emotional athletes down there, people that have never experienced anything like this. Yeah. That's what, why these games it's, are so special. It's a very exciting environment, you know, and I hope we can relate to everybody at home that the whole stadium was just buzzing yeah. when all those fireworks were going yeah. off and the emotion that's whizzing around is quite incredible and I'm very excited about tomorrow. The opening ceremonies are always happy occasions, the closing ceremonies are always a little bit sad. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I think Melbourne really sold itself to oh. the sporting world tonight. You know, I used to spend a lot of time training here, you know. Lucky and I, I really I know, I was very lucky. <laughs> but um, I, I really can appreciate, you know, what's gone on and the work and the effort that they've put into to not just make this Commonwealth game successful for, but for all of us to mm. feel very warm and welcomed here in, in their land. We are visitors here, we've got to remember that. But though they surely make us feel certainly part of their family. It's there's no, nothing's ever too much trouble, you know, if you're lost or you're not quite sure where you're going to or if you're moaning about having a, another baggage check. They always do it in the most mm. the nicest possible way and um, just very very friendly and very glad to see us I think <laughs> and I think you know from the effect tonight that these games are going to be successful because the crowds are going to turn out and they are going to support all the athletes There's yes, no doubt about that, but they'll be polished won't they but yeah. without that sort of strictness that you sometimes get when they're just yeah. a little bit over secure they, they, they allow the rules to be bent slightly but but in a, in a way that makes them workable which sometimes you don't always find at major games these days mm. it was certainly a fantastic night the opening ceremony is over though it is now time for the competition to begin swimming is one of the first events tonight your time a chance to see the amazing aussie team in action Cycling tomorrow morning, UK time. The Scotland-England rivalry for gold. Chris Hoy takes on Jason Queeley in the one-kilometre time trial. The first gymnastics gold will be won on the opening day of the Games in the men's team event. It's the first day of the Rugby Sevens. England will take on Australia. That's tomorrow morning, the final match of four on day one. And you'll be able to see all of that uh, in our programme starting at 10 past 11 on BBC One. Swimming Rugby Sevens, also bowls England against Scotland and hockey New Zealand uh, take on Scotland. But you can also uh, follow us on Interactive if you want to uh, hit the red button because there's plenty to choose from on the two uh, mainstreams. You can see once again the opening ceremony and also the road to Melbourne. But uh, there are also uh, other options involved as well. And you can see a review of the Manchester Games of four years ago and also our Commonwealth Back Files if you want to find out more about the sport. Also email us. We want your questions, don't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll make sure we, we ask anything well. you want. So do send the emails. There's the address. The Commonwealth Games at bbc.co.uk. Do that throughout the Games. But here in the opening ceremony, we've seen uh, many of the great nations, but also many of the less high-profile sporting nations. And we're going to introduce you to two of them now. Adam Parsons went to the village to find out more about them. The smallest nation, Norfolk Island, but first, Louis.
For the athletes of Newey Island, a proud moment. The flag of their tiny country raised over the Commonwealth Games village. And for them, this really is a big deal. They've come here with a team of 34 competitors. That's nearly 3% of the entire population of their country. Now, Nui have competed before, but they've not always had that much success. New Zealand 66, the Tiddlers from the Nui Island. There have been triumphs before though. Meet Star Tayosi. Four years ago in Manchester, Star became Newey's superstar. And he stopped it and Tuesi has won the first boxer from Newey Island to enter the Commonwealth Games. This is an opportunity for us to make the world set up and, and realise, hey, didn't know that that place existed, you know? Didn't know that there was a race called New Wayans, but yeah, here we are. He knew he's only got two boxers, so they always spar with each other, which isn't much fun if you're on the receiving end of Star's daily pounding. I regularly get beaten up by uh, <laughs> the Star here, and uh, that is hard work, but um, it's, it's worth it when you um, represent your, your country of birth and uh, proudly say that uh, it's, it's an achievement on the front. So. Now, if you thought Newey was little, try Norfolk Island. It is the smallest country represented here. Their bowlers carry years of experience, but they are bullish about beating the world. I mean, like they say, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. We actually played against England and a few of the others over at World Bowls over the years, and uh, we had a great team here that was in the Asia Pacific Games, and our ladies particularly did very well and also the men and I think we've got a pretty strong chance of doing upsetting a few people like we did in the Asia Pacific. Well we have quite a hard draw where to play both Australia and New Zealand they're good strong teams um, but it's anybody's match on the day you know you it's no good being intimidated before you start. They're not normally intimidated anyway. Half the island can trace their descendants right back to the crew who staged the mutiny on the bounty. Tell us a little bit about your chances and, and about the, the backing you're getting from home. But if you could tell us that in Norfolk instead of in English. Um, all right, well, got plenty sullen back on Norfolk Island like a sea clan win. But them no pressure in Auckland, and, and if we know do da good, well, is a privilege for Auckland beer and marching in the Commonwealth Games. <laughs> and we'll follow their uh, progress uh, throughout the Games. Now you can watch your highlights of the opening ceremony at 7.30 on BBC Two, but there's also a choice tonight. There's football, FA Cup, fifth round replay, West Ham against Bolton, the winner to go through to play Manchester City. But uh, here this evening, the eyes of the sporting world were on Melbourne to give the Games a fitting kickstart. And they did it with style, with humour, and one spectacular display after another. We all enjoyed it. Hope you did at home. Bye-bye.